Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I am so excited to bring you a 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. I'm so jazzed to dive into another minivan. And today we are doing actually the base Pacifica. I actually like doing base cars because I think it gives you guys just a wider range of what's available on the cars. I mean, obviously I'm gonna talk about the car seat setup. If you like this car, if you like the car seat setup and you're looking for some more comfort features, go up a trim level. But for those of you who are on a budget, this one has an MSRP of $38,000 and I was honestly blown away with some of the safety features that come on it. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly, I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because you are not gonna wanna miss any of my car related content. All right, let's get started. Okay, this design, I mean, it's sporty, it's fresh. No, it's none of those things. It's a minivan, and it looks like a minivan. It's not my favorite minivan. I think this new Sienna and the new Kia Carnival are much better looking than this minivan in particular, but I do, one thing I do like about the Pacifica is her little cat eye moment. Like, she's cute, like she's got a winged liner. We love to see it. But, oh, besides that, there's not much else to like. It's so minivan, it's so silver bullet. It's better looking than the Odyssey, in my opinion, but, we're not here to talk about aesthetics. So let's just breeze over the exterior. So moving along to her side profile. You know guys, again, there's not a lot to talk about. Um, but we do, we are doing this really pretty like metallic gray color. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm actually going to be building my own Pacifica and talking you through all the colors and trims. We do have some beautiful chrome detailing around all of these windows, which looks awesome. And then I do like how they hid the slider kind of in the window. So I think hiding it into the window really kind of cleans it up a little bit. And yeah. I mean, the windows are huge. Look how big this window is. I've seen front windshield smaller than that. Very excited. And then moving along to her back end, we're kind of met with that same cat eye-esque thing, but in the taillights, and then this taillight bar that goes all the way across it. So overall, I think the exterior looks very minivan-like, and I'm most excited to talk about the interior, so let's get to that. All right, guys, here's a shot of me in the driver's seat of the Chrysler Pacifica. Let me tell you something, I'm already having so much fun. Again, we are doing the base trim level and I'm impressed, honestly. I have so many great standard safety features on this car. Got the blind spot, I've got the frontal collision. So I'm impressed. Okay, so let's start by talking about the door panel because it looks like there's so much going on. It's just falling like a little bit flat for me. I'm just like missing like two or three inches here and there because I was excited about this because I thought I could put my phone there, but I really, can't so that doesn't do much for me and then i have just this like simple modern cup which is not even very large that doesn't work and then that doesn't really work so there's a lot there but there's also nothing there but there's a lot in here so let me get you on to the other side okay guys so let's chat about some of the fun things in this interior of this chrysler pacifica so to start with seats so in this trim level, we don't have leather. You have to go up to the L to get the leather. So we do have cloth seats in here. These are leather, which is a fun little touch. And then we've got like some blue stitching. So it's fine. I prefer leather seats, especially for moms, but I appreciate the price point of this vehicle. So I'm happy to do the cloth seats. As far as my display goes, um, I have a little bit of a digital display, which looks great. And then it's actually so darling because I have blue in there as well. You guys know I love blue. So that looks really cute. And then as far as like kind of going into this display does, I love that we still have like the cat eyes right here. That's kind of cute. And then it's a pretty user-friendly display. I'm honestly pretty impressed with it because I think it looks really expensive. It's comp like full color. We have all of our quick buttons, like our home, our media, our phone, our vehicle, and then our climate control as well. So it's all easy to use right there. Moving down into here, we have some of our driver's assistance features like our park distance control and our lane departure warning. And then we also have our auto start stop. Um, you can easily turn off the screen if you need to do that. You can mute it really quickly. So I love that. So like if you're trying, your kids are trying to tell you something, you can just hit mute and then it'll turn it off. Moving into our climate control right here, our shifter, cute, cute, cute. And then our parking brake is this little button right here. So overall, I think this is super user friendly. I think they've pulled, I think it's a good screen to button ratio. And I think it looks nice. I like the high gloss black. I like the display and I'm pretty hard to impress on displays. Now here's, we, now here's where there's some fun stuff to talk about. There is just cubby spaces galore. So we have this right here. And then we also have one here. I would imagine the higher trims, one of these are probably a wireless charger. Boom. This is like our, this is our only like 
covered center console area. So I did think that was kind of interesting because we have a lot of like open compartments, but this is the only thing where you could like close and put away. So I do wish we had an additional center console right here, but you can kind of get a feel for the size. I have a size five diaper in here. This kills me. Like they still put the coin things like, okay. Who's separating their court? I mean, what? Who's doing that? If you're doing that, comment below. I'd love to meet you. And then we kind of go into two more, like just purse holders. So we've got this one and then this one. And then we've got some USBs down there as well. So any USBs here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's 12 volt. That's six USBs just here. That's exciting. And then we get into cup holder city. So two cup holders right here. They're actually really nice size cup holders. We have, you know, a little bit more of like a phone or a change collector right here. And then behind here, we have two more cup holders. So you guys know, if you've been following me for a while, I absolutely love when I have four cup holders in reach. It's just like so exciting because I can have today's coffee, yesterday's coffee, today's water, yesterday's water. That's what I need. And then my passenger has to deal with the below average side cuppies. So, Driver's comfort. I'm excited about it. I love the cubby spaces. Kind of a small mirror. The higher trim levels obviously will come more well equipped with some more fun features. You might be able to get the panoramic sunroof, but I want to talk about the back seat because that's a lot to talk about. All right, guys, so here's a shot of me in the second row of this 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. Now, we are doing the bench seat today, which I was very excited to have one with a bench because it's an extra seat, making this one an eight-passenger car. And the bench in the Pacifica is actually pretty good. It's pretty wide. The middle seat is a pretty decent size. Um, we'll talk about the car seat setup in a second, but I'm happy they have one with the bench. So as far as kind of my um, passenger amenities are concerned, we do have ceiling vents, which is awesome in both the second and the third row. And then I can con control my climate control all from right here. So I like to see that. We've just got like a simple back pocket right here. Now in the higher trim levels, you can get rear entertainment. You have two options. You can either get rear entertainment on the back of the seats, or you can actually get it up here as well. So I really like that flexibility as well. And then as far as getting in and out of this car, there's so many ways to close these doors. I'm losing track, I think. So the driver can do it. So up by like where the sunglass holder is, the driver can open and close the doors. The passenger has a button right here to close it. And I can also do it on the key. They are, are cutting the grass. So we need to relocate. We will not be refilming though. So next time you see us, we'll be at a different location. No, I was gonna like. Okay, welcome back. We are now in the weekends only parking lot, but we are here to talk about the car seat setup in the second row because it's pretty good. It's almost like they knew kids are going to be driving in this car. We love to see it. Here's the exciting part. The Pacifica comes in both captain's chairs and a bench. I was so excited to find a bench seat because I want to show you guys the maximum seating positions possible. So in the bench, we have lower anchors in every single seat. We also have tether anchors in every single seat. So it totally gives a lot of nice car seat flexibility. So that's exciting. I've installed my other baby Mesa rear facing right here. It fit great with room. I would be able to install it in the middle seat, either seat. It's awesome. Almost just as much fun as the car seat setup is the stow and go seating. So if you guys have never seen stow and go seating before, sit down if you're not, because this is so exciting. Actually, Chrysler has this patent, so while other while other minivans can have similar things, they are the only ones that can have the stow and go seat. And it is so easy to do. So first things first, you just lift this up. It stays locked right there. Then there's this cute little thing that says stow and go. Hold on, I got too aggressive. Mental note, this seat's too far back. So you do have to move this seat forward when you're using it. Talk about a third row access, am I right? Look at that. So how fun is that? So the other seat can also stow and go, and then this middle seat can remove. So she can just become a DIY kind of car. You just DIY it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Like so excited. That's so fun. Middle seat's super easy to remove. Like that's all you have to do. hyping me up. Let's talk about the third row. So I'm just like so excited about the flexibility that this car has to offer because if you have a lot of 
big convertible car seats forward facing and rear facing it does offer you so much flexibility with some of the lower anchor positions with being able to take some seats out i mean you could put a rear facing car seat right there it makes it with all of these different sorts of access it makes it so much easier for also your kids to buckle yourself one thing i always encourage my families that i'm working with is to one think about how everyone's going to fit but then also how is everyone going to get in and out of the car is it going to be a climb through the trunk situation who's buckling them up i would have no problem installing a car seat there and then being able to access it and then buckle the child in safely. So I think that's great. A ton of car seats of flexibilities right here. Obviously my best advice would be to consult a child passenger safety technician and always read your vehicle and car seat manual. So a couple of amenities in the third row. First things first, ceiling vents. Absolutely love that. We don't have USBs back here, but in the higher trim levels, you would be able to get USBs. Uh, we don't have sunshades, but we have really nice sunshades in the second row. And as far as like the size is concerned, it's, it's pretty comfortable. Um, you know, I have this seat set, still being able to fit that rear facing of a baby pumpkin seat right there. And I have got so much good knee clearance. So that's awesome. We've got, um, as far as the car seat setup back here is concerned, it's a little different to be honest with you, because they've got two sets of lower anchors, one on this seat and then one smack dab in the middle and then the, the tether anchor there's one tether anchor on this seat which is obviously what i used to install this greco extended fit forward facing and the other tether anchor is like smack dab in the middle so if you want i mean it's a it's a two car seat situation back here or bust because it's so funny to me how these are just straight up in the middle if you didn't have car seats i think you could fit three people back here to ride this middle seat is pretty narrow but i think it would work just any adding of a car seat severely complicates it because even like having a car seat right here it would be super tight yeah like that doesn't really work for me that's that's a no for me so that's something to note so i like it it's okay for car seats it could be better second row is pretty good second row is pretty good okay wanted to just talk about one more thing that i freaking love about this car so first of all clearance is great here this seat except for myself i'm six feet tall this is a rear facing pumpkin seat check out the clearance we love to see it but here's why this car is also awesome if i take out this pumpkin seat first of all who doesn't love the freaking sliding door ah, that is a treat this car actually has a car seat friendly tilt so whenever i have a car seat installed with the lower anchors whether that be a forward facing car seat a rear facing car seat or an infant base i can click this up and it will tilt the car seat it will not infect the integrity of the seat and then i can access the third row so this would really come in handy for a lot of car seats in the second row especially if you have the bench over the captain's chairs that's awesome so anyway i think that's an awesome feature and if you're like gosh what other cars have that i got you link in the description box below for my master list of all the cars with the car seat friendly tilt available okay you know what i'm not over yet sliding doors to the trunk So I was also so excited to see that on the base trim level, guess what we freaking have? A power tailgate because Chrysler cares about moms. Do you know how many other makes and models you don't get a power tailgate until you're in like the third or fourth trim level? We love to see that. I love when a car is $38,000 this big and has a power tailgate. That's what I need. This is fun. This is really fun. We can stow those seats. We can also stow these seats. It's super easy to do. It's, they really label how to do it. So it's one, does the headrest. Two. So in the higher trim level, it's actually power, but like I would never need this to be power because it's seriously so easy. I mean, I'm pretty sure a child could do that. And then look at this. I mean, just look at this. And like even those tracks right there, those don't even come out that high. And then imagine guys, stow and go that seat, take out the middle seat. You know what you have? You have a freaking truck bed. This thing's a transformer. It's a freaking transformer. Power tailgate. Okay, so we're just driving around town in the Chrysler Pacifica. And I just wanted to talk about like what happened in 2021 because some pretty exciting things did. So for the 2021 models, it became available in all wheel drive and a hybrid. However, you can't get a hybrid and all wheel drive at the same time. You also can't get a hybrid and all wheel drive when you get a bench. So they're available. It's just gonna depend on like what's the most important to you. Um, but I, I, I like seeing that one a hybrid and an all wheel drive was an option. Now the Sienna can do both. So 
something to consider if that's important to you. But as far as the drive is concerned, it's not my favorite drive. It feels very heavy. It doesn't have a lot of acceleration. I mean, it's fine. If you guys like aren't performance drivers, then you're going to be like, oh yeah, it drives like a car. There's nothing that I necessarily hate about it. It's just, it's just a little, it's just, the car's really heavy. So it's kind of hard to get up and go. The handling's just okay. I don't feel like it has that good of a turning radius. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up and comment below about which car I should tour next. And I will see you in my next video. Okay guys, let's build my very own 2021 Chrysler Pacifica. So a lot to break down here. First of all, they really do have a nice display model comparison right here. So it really does let you know like exactly what you're getting when you go up to the higher trim level. I am so impressed with the standard features that are on the touring, but I really like leather in a car, especially for a mom. So that does bring me up to the touring L. So that is what I'm going to go with. Um, all wheel drive, front wheel drive, kind of your preference there. I'm going to stick with front wheel drive and let's get into the colors. So no upcharge for any of, the, any of the additional colors. I don't know why I like this color so much. This is like totally different than what I normally go for. Um, I hate this color. That one's not for me. Hate's a strong word, but that one's, this red's not for me. I kind of like the navy. I think I'm going to go with, oh, that's really bright. Mm, that's too bright. Let's just like go for a gray. Yeah, I just think that's it. That's what I'm going to go with. So let's head to the interior. I'm going to get eight passenger seating because I want to get the bench because I like the bench. I like the flexibility it offers. And I'm going to go with black leather because I just think that makes more sense. Oops as someone who would have lots of children in here. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So you could like add a sunroof for 1500 bucks. Sure. I really do like a sunroof. I think it really lets in a lot of nice light. And then let's go to the packages. So then one thing I did like was that you could also add, they had some good like upgrades as well. So for example, like this rear entertainment, I mean, if this is for you, this adds, a lot of stuff. I mean, you don't just get like this screen, but you also get like heated second row seats. I mean, a lot of stuff. You get a lot of crap for, oh, it's $2,900 though. I'm not going to get it. I'm going to keep it how it is. Um, but there is just like so much flexibility with these different trim models, just depending on what exactly you're looking for. So then that would bring my 2021 Chrysler Pacifica Touring L to an MSRP of $38,980.